Colin Kaepernick, the quarterback from the 49ers, not standing during the national anthem. Good morning, Aaron Katursky. The horror. I think 49ers fans are probably concerned that he's terrible on the field, uh, more than you know his, his posture during the national anthem. But nonetheless, there's been a few you know burning in effigy, so that's always gets some good attention. Uh, and Colin Kaepernick says that he's going to continue to sit for the national anthem until he feels that there's been some change. He says he and some of his friends have been victims at the hands of police, and he says he's standing up for uh, what he says is uh, oppressed people all around the country. Now, uh, we should say that after the game over the weekend, he did take – he hasn't shied away from this, and he'll talk to anyone who wants to ask him a question about this. He's not shy about talking about the reasons why. He, he isn't, and he did it rather quietly at first. He's done this two games previously um, before people actually noticed on Friday. And finally, ended up talking about it publicly over the weekend when he explained his rationale and, and said that, you know, look, if he gets cut, if he loses endorsement, so whatever, um, he's willing to do it as long as he can sort of live with himself, that he stood up for what he believed in and, and did what was right. Yeah. Uh, he also was critical of the police, but he was also critical of Hillary Clinton as well. Uh, he was critical of uh, well, pretty, pretty much everybody. Uh, a, a little bit of politics, mainly police, and 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 you know the, the oppression that he says he and others have endured, mainly people of color. Uh, but he also you know said that this is you know n nothing that is 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 anti-American. Quite the quite the controversy. He said there are a lot of things going on that are unjust. People aren't being held accountable, and he said something needs to change. And he says. That's something that this country stands for, freedom and liberty and justice. And he says that's not happening for everybody right now. If you, uh, take, if you just listen to that, it sounds to me like the guy's running for, for president. I, well, I mean, it doesn't take much these days. Uh, so I, I, I'm not sure he's, he's going to do that, although you know, he may well be out of a job, not because of the anthem, but because of how, he, how he's playing lately. But the, um, you know, he said he's not concerned about any... Uh, violence on the road or any you know safety fears. He says at the end of the day, if something happens, that only proves his proves his point. Where are the 49ers on this, and where is the NFL on this? The NFL isn't really anywhere. They and, and neither is the team. The team's like, well, do you know, do what you want. But um, the, the the NFL doesn't have any official policy. They encourage players to stand, but they don't require it. So the, you know, the, there's no violation here. And so I think the NFL is just going to let it you know play itself out so the nfl has a rule as to how much air can be in a ball but not that that, that the players need to stand for the national anthem yes indeed <laughs> okay. which is why tom Bra oh no we won't even <laughs> we're not even gonna all right fair enough now uh the fans you mentioned i've seen some fans lighting his jersey on fire uh they have lit his jersey on fire the people are really upset about it you know there have been some who've taken to twitter and, and you know the people are are really angry that there's uh, you know, he would dare do this. Mark Cuban, the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, said, I mean, he didn't throw a bomb or fire a shot or cause a riot. He just sat there. So, you know, he didn't have any any problem with it. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting story in the next couple of days. Uh, all right, uh, Aaron Katursky following the Colin Kaepernick story where he sat through the national anthem. Aaron, thanks for checking in. Have a good week. You too, McGraw. Yeah. 824, make it 825 here. Big 550.